iPS cells, or induced pluripotent stem cells, have the potential to be one of the most revolutionary discoveries of the 21st century, with far-reaching implications for humans and animals alike. As you may have learned in school, stem cells are those cells that can take the role of any other cell in the body due to their primitive nature. But they are not without their controversy, and making them is a very difficult task. iPS cells are the next evolution in that technology wherein ordinary cells, such as skin cells or even gingiva cells, can be rolled back to their embryonic state. This gives the cell a blank state to work with, theoretically being able to grow into any cell in the body. This technology was actually pioneered right here in Japan. I recently met with Dr. Hiroshi Egusa and talked a little bit about this technology and how he is applying it to bone regeneration. I am here with Dr. Hiroshi Egusa, who is focusing mostly on bone and tooth iPS cell regeneration. So Dr. Egusa, can you introduce us to yourself, your mm -hmm. research, and iPS technology? Okay, I'm Hiroshi Egusa, professor in Tohoku University Graduate School Dentistry. I was born in Hiroshima, and I graduated from Hiroshima University and to get a dental license, and I spent four years in Hiroshima University to get a PhD. During that period, I also studied in Hong Kong University to study about the or immunology and microbiology. Then after I get a PhD, I moved to the United States, UCLA, worked as a postdoc, involved in the basic research, uh, like uh, stem cells. Then I got a position, assistant professor position in Osaka University, then spent 10 years to have my own research group to develop many uh, stem cells technologies, including the iPS cells from the, derived from the oral tissue. Then I got the full professor position in Tohoku University here about seven years ago. Yeah, that's my career. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. So Agusa-san, why did you start this research? What was the inspiration for it? 私がアナイピエス細胞や再生医療の研究を始めるにあたるきっかけですけれども免許を取ってから歯科医師としてま歯がなくなったところにいればで歯を作ろう歯茎や骨をま人工物で作ろうっていうあのそういったことを習うんです
leading to the growth of tumors. Dr. Agusa is researching ways to prevent this tumorogenesis from happening. And one of his ways is to freeze dry the cells. Freeze drying essentially kills a cell. It might sound counterintuitive, but cancer cannot grow with dead cells. First technology is make a bone from the living iPS cells. Right, right. So it's a living cell, so that that has a powerful regenerative ability mm -hmm. to aggressively make a bone. But it's very difficult to control because they easily to become a tumor cells. Ah, uh, so you're doing it without the tumor genesis. Yes. Genesis. Yes. Right. So that the big hurdle to use iPS cell is how to eliminate the possibility of the making tumor, form, tumor formation. So that's why I thought, okay, living cell may form a tumor. So why don't we just freeze right to kill all the cells of the iPS cells, but still the bone substance uh, remain after the freeze drying so that we can use that the remaining bone substrate as a artificial bone material. Right. That's my concept. Right, right. That's very yeah. interesting. Very, very interesting. Thank you. That was a very good explanation, by the way. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Eh, kotsira ni ima iPS cell bone kara tsukutta kotsu hoten zai no eh shisaku hin ga haitte orimasu. Ma chotto ano 詳しいところまでお見せできないんですけれども、このように、iPS細胞から作った骨の塊が凍結乾燥することによって骨を作る材料のような物になったところです。はい。Do you continued your research within the innovation program in 2019? Can you tell us a little bit about your challenge within the disruptive challenge? Okay. あの、イノベーションで挑戦したのは腫瘍、トゥーモーを作らないようにして骨をiPS細胞から作るというテーマでやりました。最初は生きたiPS細胞を使ってトゥーモーにならないような え、骨を作るというプロジェクトに変えていきました。で、変えていって、それでもやっぱりハードルがたくさんあって、もっといいものを作ろうっていうところで、そのえ、iPS細胞自体を遺伝子的に少し改変を変化をさせたりして、もっ
また次の世代につながって、そういう人たちが多分世界を少しずつ新しいものを作ろうっていうふうに変えてくれるかなっていうふうなところが、せいぜいできるところかなと、あの、my humble opinion. <笑><笑>はい。And that is all about iPS cells today. I really enjoyed sitting down with Dr. Hiroshi Yegusa and learning more about his technology and his research. Going into his lab was quite an interesting experience, and I saw a lot of different things that I never thought I would before. Thank you very much for watching today's video. We have so many great videos coming up soon, and I'm really excited to show you some of the technologies that were born with our innovators. The Weintraub Center for Reconstructive Biotechnology recognizes Hiroshi Egusa and billiard table hopping, as well as his expert leadership for gene pruning and silent pressure. Now that's a great award. Well, let's go and play some billiards. <laughs> <laughs>